Hello and welcome back. This is going to be the uh, second episode. Uh, in this cave, however, is two artifacts. And in this cave, you're also going to have to deal with Megalania and Megalosaurus. And due to time restraints and the fact that the place is a giant maze of just confusion, yeah, I, I'm not going to go in there to show you, but I do want to give you... Uh, the locations in there, if you do want to go in there and try to get those locations, the, those artifacts. Uh, the artifact of the immune, I believe that one is going to be the one that's on the ground, like the ground level. Uh, you're not going to do anything special, it's just going to be sitting there, you know, you'll be able to go over to it, pick it up. However, the artifact of the cunning, I do believe, is the one that's uh, up near the top like the most top part of the uh, cave, and you're going to have to uh, grapple to it unless you have tech armor, which you probably might not have if you're still doing boss fights. Uh, so, yeah. Again, this is a really confusing place, and if you don't want to die, don't pick fights with the uh, Megalania, because they will give you rabies, and you will die a horrible, horrible death. Because rabies doesn't go away until you die. Yeah. That's one of those horrible things. Uh, so, it's also a really dark cave. So, yeah, it's going to be one of those ones that you're going to have fun with. You're probably going to have to gamma up to gamma 4, gamma 5. Uh, you're also probably going to have to uh, bring a lot of hook shots. Yeah, because I have no idea how many you're going to need to uh, get the artifact of the cunning. Uh for the location of this cave. It's on the, you know, northernmost side of uh, this mountain range here. And you're going to see those groups of islands down there. So you're going to basically... Yeah, there we go. Uh, you see that beach down there? You're going to come up from that beach and find this cave here. Uh, it's not the very top, because somewhere around up here, that's where the artifact is probably going to be. So... Yeah. There is another cave entrance, however, and that cave entrance is in the swamp by the castle. I wouldn't suggest doing that because of, you know, leeches, the capras, things like that. Uh, this is going to be the one that's probably the easiest to get to because of the fact that it's, like, big roads. Worst thing that you're probably going to find at this point is, you know, rexes, carnos. Uh, might be some raptors, not very sure. But definitely the RGs might try to pick a fight with you. Oh, and scorpions. But, yeah. So, uh, let's get on to the uh, next one. And hopefully I can get there pretty quickly. So, that one should be the uh, let's see, monkey temple ruins. So, I'll see you when I get there. And we're here, and we're going to be going to the Monkey Temple Ruins. I just wanted to show off a little bit of the scenery. You're going to see this waterfall. It's going to go over to this little lake here, and that busted bridge. And the Monkey Temple Ruin is over here. And if I can get my bridge to get out of the way pick up the Artifact of the Straw. Now, as you noticed, you can use these things to uh, build the Tech Replicator. So, if you ever wanted to build the Tech Replicator, there's uh, where you can build it. Drop the metal. Metal is awesome and important. And it's called the Monkey Temple Ruins because of those statues. But yeah. Uh, you're going to see basically this scenery, and it's going to be down in that little area there. You'll see the pillar before you see the actual uh, entrance to it. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, also, you're going to know that we'll notice that uh, there is also the other one, which I can get to by going over here. Uh, don't mind the fact that there's a couple people's bases loading in. They just happen to build near them. Didn't know they were there, they just happened to build near them. Okay, so... See, as you saw, I just went around the side of that cliff there, followed that, and as I load in Fap's base... 
<laughs> and the other one's going to be in here. Uh, I don't want to spoil this dungeon for you, because it is a dungeon and the Lava Golem does live inside there. Uh, if you want to try to fight the Lava Golem, you're going to have to go to the Artifact Room. There will be a rock you break inside the Artifact Room to get to the Lava Golem. And that one, that Lava Golem is a real pain to fight. Uh, like, super pain. <laughs> but uh, do keep in mind that there are bats in here, and they did update the bats to have rabies as well. So, like the Megalania, you may die because of the rabies from the bats. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to like ruin it for you because this is an actual, actually a really beautiful cave, and it is hard. I mean, there is uh, Arthropleura, there are spiders, there is scorpions, there is all manner of things that want to eat your face off. So, yeah. Uh, don't know what else to say about this cave, other than uh, if you do want to go through this and you don't have flyers enabled for caves, uh, you're probably going to have a hard time. I'd st I recommend bringing lots and lots of hook shots. Also, be very careful of where you step, because there are pressure plates that will uh, shoot trank darts from the walls at you. That's right. It, it, it's one of those kinds of places. They, like, when they built this place, they built it to be mean. Uh, but, in the meantime, like I said, I didn't want to spoil this cave for you because it's such an awesome and beautiful cave. Uh, this cave is actually featured in the trailer for for uh, Ragnarok, the original one. It's the one where they cross all those bridges and you see all that lava and whatnot, and then you see like the destroyed ruins. Uh, that's near, towards the end of this cave. Uh, but before you get there, it is an arduous, you know, like kill fest just to get there. So, yeah, you're gonna pretty much follow that water waterfall down till you get to about here. You're gonna see, uh, or maybe not because of this tree, because the tree does a good, or a couple trees do a good job of hiding this particular cave entrance. But, you know, it's not too far from the top where that water, where the waterfalls uh, began. So, just keep that in mind. And also, lesser antidotes. I'm not sure if lesser antidotes stop rabies, but you might want to bring some just in case. Okay, and as you can see from the map coordinates uh, that I have on my GPS, uh, we're at 27.6, 28.8. Uh, the artifact is actually, as you can see, I'm kind of in a lake, uh, below us. Uh, you're going to see massive waterfalls there. You know, it's just, you know, general lake with a ruined building in it. So, to get this particular artifact, also these crates, if you smash them, you get stuff from them. Like, uh, metal tools. To get this artifact, you're gonna wanna go down somewhere. Where is the, uh, door? Uh, just trying to find the entrance to the... As you can see, you can hear the artifact already. Oh, there we go. And here we are, the artifact of the Skylord. It's in the basement of this uh, water ruin. So, again, pretty neat. Uh, if you don't have good enough oxygen or, you know, the tech helmet, uh, I recommend bringing a diving suit or grapples. Like, grapples will save your life, honestly. Uh, so, that means that we now have, since I showed off, uh, like, two of the caves but didn't go in them to retrieve, that means we have five, or at least have been to at least the location of five of the uh, artifacts, and that means that there's one left, and that's the sunken ship in the deep ocean. And that is the artifact of the Devourer. That artifact is a pain in the butt. It, it seriously is. Uh, you'll see why when we get there. <laughs> so, I will you know, close out of this and close that. Uh, so, I will try my best not to die a horrible death to the squids that are there. Yeah. 
And, oh yeah, by the way, the cave with the artifacts of uh, the Devourer, not the Devourer, the uh, uh, Immune and the Cunning. If you want the Immune and the Cunning and you want the GPS coordinates to help you try to navigate through the cave, uh, the Immune is located at 23.6, 44.5 if you're using a GPS. In the artifact of the Cunning is located at 20.2 and 46.0. And they're both inside that cave. Uh, again, it's not one of the easiest caves that you're ever going to have to go through because it is built like a maze and you'll backtrack and everything. And like I said, there's Megalania and Megalosaurus throughout the cave. Except it, it's they're in the cave, but they don't seem to be very present very often. All right, so I will be seeing you in the ocean. Okay, and I'm hovering over the approximate location. It keeps shifting because I keep kind of moving. Uh, so, what you're going to end up having to go to is 47.4, 2.3, but as you can see, mine's a little off because I am still moving. Uh, and then you're just going to have to go down into the water. Be careful because this place is god awful! And those are the reason why. Holy crap, there's a lot of them right now. Oh god, there's an alpha! There's an alpha! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh, uh, but it's gonna be somewhere in that sunken ship. Uh, why does why are all the alphas level thirty one? <laughs> uh, well, I hope that was a pretty good warning to you. Like I said, it's somewhere around the sunken ship. Somewhere in the sunken ship. I don't know which. I keep dying there. Horrible, horrible deaths. So, uh, be very, very careful when you go to that one. Uh, take care. Bye-bye, people.